America's pastime has made for some epic film moments. There's a drive, left field, twisting and into foul territory. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 baseball scenes in movies. Hey! Way to go, Art! For this list, we're looking at the best and most memorable dramatic and comedic baseball scenes from film. <laughs> Number 10, thrown out at home, the Bad News Bears. Everyone loves a rags to riches story, but the bears give new meaning to the word rags. Look at you, dumb spaz! We would've wanted to work for you! A makeshift team, consisting of various misfits, including a vulgar shortstop, a heavy catcher, and a boozy manager, the bears somehow make it to their league's championship game. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? We're in the championship, aren't we? Well, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? I'll just behave yourselves and act like men. With a chance to tie the game, the Bears' best player, Kelly Leak, smacks a pitch to the wall, clearing the bases. Unfortunately, Leak is thrown out at home on a close play, and the game ends. In classic Bears fashion, the underage players enjoy some beer despite the loss. Who didn't get a beer? You paid him! <laughs> no, he's joking. He don't what do that. Oh, well, you better make him Maybe next spring you teach me how to hit. Number 9. You play ball like a girl, the Sandlot. Come on! We'll take you on right here, right now! Come on! While Benny the Jet Rodriguez stealing home as a member of the Los Angeles Dodgers was entertaining, this is, without a doubt, the most memorable scene from the film. You plan a real diamond porter? You ain't good enough to lick the dirt off our cleats. When a rival baseball team rides up to the field, a defiant ham and the rest of the boys hold their ground. Watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Scab eater. Butt sniffer. Yeah. Puss licker. Ham and Phillips trade several insults, including accusations of mixing Wheaties with your mother's toe jam. You mixed your Wheaties with your mama's toe jam. Yeah. And bobbing for apples in the toilet. You bob for apples in the toilet! And you like it! Ham throws down the gauntlet, however, with this epic insult. You play ball like a girl! Number 8. Lou Gehrig's Address, The Pride of the Yankees. Gehrig stands in front of his microphone, visibly impressed, home so dope. Listen to that foul! It's not often a player gets an entire film dedicated to them. But that's exactly what happened for Lou Gehrig. I have been walking on ball fields for 16 years and I've never received anything but kindness and encouragement. The first baseman for the New York Yankees, Gehrig was tragically diagnosed with ALS and died at 37, one year before this biographical drama's release. I have had the further honor of living with and playing with these men on my right, the Bronx Bombers, the Yankees of today. The film acts as a tribute to one of the most beloved sports figures of all time. I have a mother and father who fought to give me health. Of course, the most famous scene occurs at Yankee Stadium on Lou Gehrig Day, when Gehrig proclaims that... People all say that I've had a bad break. But today... Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Number 7. Undercover Umpire the Naked Gun from the files of Police Squad. Strike? It seems like some umpires are just asking to be mocked, what with their ridiculous out and strike calls and gestures. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen takes it to a whole other level in this classic comedy, as he goes undercover as the home plate umpire to search each player for a weapon that could be used to kill the queen. Damn! 
This hilarious montage shows how baseball has the possibility to be incredibly comedic. Number 6. Meeting on the Mound, Bull Durham. Hey, what's going on? I'm breathing through the wrong fucking eyelid again. No. Shut up. Ever wonder what's said during those mound visits during a baseball game? Hey, did you guys hear about Jimmy and Millie? Yeah. They got engaged. Can you believe that? According to Bull Durham, the mound visit is a great time to discuss wedding gifts, which is exactly what occurs during this hilarious scene. As Crash Davis attempts to calm down Nuke Lelouch, other members of the team join the conversation and begin complaining about the various ailments facing them. Hey, you guys, don't throw me anything. My girlfriend put a curse on my glove. I'll take the hex off the f***ing glove. Give me the glove. Well, then you gotta cut the head off a live rooster. Eventually, the coach comes out and recommends candlesticks and a place setting. Well, uh, candlesticks always make a nice gift, and uh, maybe you can find out where she's registered, maybe a place setting or maybe a silverware pattern. Too. No wonder the game takes so long. OK, let's get two. Here we go. Number 5. Walk Off Home Run, Moneyball. A lot of excitement, what a winning streak, but how about the calming influence of Art Howe? While many athletes are superstitious, it seems to be a common feature of baseball players. And I'm telling you, there is no explanation for what's occurring right now. It's bigger than a whole bunch of superstitions going on that you have to do the same thing. Hope I'm not the jinxing anybody. Billy Bean, the general manager of the Oakland Athletics, refuses to watch the game live. Hey, are you on your way to the stadium? No, I'm on my way to Visalia to see our minor league team. Turn around, please. Dad. No way, Jose. With the A's on a 19-game win streak and up 11 to nothing against Kansas City in the third inning, Bean's daughter convinces him to attend the game. Turn around, nope. come on, Dad. Not gonna happen. You're not gonna jinx it. He arrives just in time to watch the A's fall apart as the Royals come back to tie the game at 11. Sliding stay, and the ball game is tied at 11 all. Holy Toledo! The A's have blown an 11 to nothing lead. The day is saved, however, when underdog Scott Hatterberg hits a walk-off home run to win the game, giving Oakland the record for the longest win streak in American League history. How do you explain it? Crazy. Just plain crazy. Number four, enter Wild Thing, Major League. Ricky Vaughn, the kid they call Wild Thing, one out away from his first Major League victory. A great relief pitcher needs an epic entrance song, which is exactly what Ricky Vaughn has. Wild Thing! You make my heart sing! I hate this f***ing song. As Vaughn enters the game in the ninth inning, Wild Thing roars on the loudspeaker, sending the Cleveland crowd into an absolute frenzy. while Major League had some great moments, including Jake Taylor beating out a bunt on two weak knees to win the game. Taylor bunt! Shit. Charlie Sheen's Wild Thing is without a doubt the most memorable. Number three, there's no crying in baseball, a league of their own. Now you start using your head! That's not love! That's three feet above your ass! What do you get when you mix Tom Hanks and women's baseball? A quote for the ages. Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> Hanks plays Jimmy Dugan, the reluctant tobacco-chewing manager of the Rockford Peaches, one of the teams in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. And now the manager of the Peaches, former six-time National League home run champ, Jimmy Dugan! Dugan absolutely lays into Evelyn for throwing home with a two-run lead, causing her to burst into tears, leading to this classic line. There's no crying! There's no crying in baseball! He ends up getting ejected by the umpire moments later, much to the delight of the Peach players. Rogers Hornsby was my manager, and he called me a talking pile of pig shit. And that was when my parents drove all the way down from Michigan to see me play the game. And did I cry? No, no. No! No! And you know why? No. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! Number two, a catch with dad, Field of Dreams. It's very nice meeting you. 
one of the best baseball films ever made. Field of Dreams is full of memorable scenes, such as when James Earl Jones gives a passionate speech about the importance of baseball. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, it's a part of our past, Ray. It's the final scene of the film, however, that's the most iconic, as Ray Kinsella finally discovers who the whispering voice has been referring to, his father. Frustrated that he can't join the players in the cornfield, Ray is shocked to discover that the catcher is actually his father as a young man. Oh my God. What, what is it? It's my father. After introducing him to his family, Ray utters the line that made grown men across America cry. Hey, Dad? You wanna have a catch? I'd like that. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No million dollar salaries, but there was a team no one could beat. The true story of the team they called the Black Sox, and the scandal that broke the heart of a nation. Any bet against my Sox this series is a sucker bet. We don't stink right now. We're the best team in baseball right now, right this minute, because of you. You're the reason. We're not going to screw that up. We're going to be awesome for you right now. Just throw. Congratulations, Rick. As you know, Monty, Vaughn's been working on a couple of new pitches, the Eliminator and the Humiliator, to complement his fastball, the Terminator. I heard that. Dynamite drop in, Monty. That broadcast school has really paid off. Number one, final at bat, the natural. Max, this is Roy Hobbs. Roy Hobbs is arguably the greatest fictional athlete of all time, and his last at bat truly cements his legacy. Hey, mister, what's your name? Roy Hobbs! Here! Hey. With the season on the line for the New York Knights, a wounded Hobbs comes to the plate with a chance to win the game. <laughs> Things look bleak after Hobbs breaks his bat Wonder Boy on a foul ball. What's the name of his bat? Wonder Boy! Hobbs tattoos the ensuing pitch, however, directly into the overhead lights, winning the Knights the pennant, and creating his own fireworks show in the process as the iconic music plays in the background. you agree with our list? I do. What's your favorite big screen baseball scene? For more home run hitting top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Hey!